Okay. Okay. Hello, everyone. How's everyone doing? Happy St. Patrick's Day. Uh... Yo, what do you do? Go home, Okay, man. let's put this on Twitter here, too. Okay, he hello, how's everyone doing? Hey guys, Miles, uh, semi-resident, arcing, I'm official, SGG, Pi, Melon, Mr. Jibs, uh, Golden, General's Alert, Squall, hey guys, um, hello my favorite YouTuber, thank you, thank you man, I'm doing good. So I'm gonna, you know, speed run this heist, you know, first time here. And then after I'm done with speedrunning this heist, then afterwards, um, you know, I'll help some people sell their businesses. But let's um, see if I can do this in, um, let's see if I can do this in, uh, in that, oh, okay, looks like I took away the difficulty option, okay. Yes, I'm playing Gus Frank. My glasses haven't come in the mail, they're actually coming in tomorrow. Uh... Hey Eric, how are you, man? Okay, I'm gonna be trying to do the Vigilante because I like this vehicle a lot and its missiles and just because it tries to make things faster, so... Yeah, I, I know that, that he's, he voices Ralph. Whoa. Why'd he still... Okay, I was about to say he's still alive after that. That's gonna be ridiculous. Getting the new DLC gives us 500,000, which is great. And I, yeah, and I think it's double money right now regularly, so... Uh, so with this heist, so now, yeah, I think it's a million dollars to get paid for this heist now. that get back to our vigilante so yeah I'm gonna see if I can get this done in 45 minutes guys and um, guys uh, when I'm in between missions right like in between missions it doesn't count um, uh, that like when you're in free mode right only when you're in the when you're in the mission itself pretty sure right Correct, okay. Kind of ridiculous the physics in this game that like a really big vehicle like the Vigilante can so easily be turned by just a smaller vehicle just tapping the side of it. This 
Oh, this is GTA. Uh, you need to do aggressive? I don't know. I'm going to try to do it stealth, and I'll see if I can hit it. Per, are you ethnically Polish? Um... Yes, I mean, I'm 100% Polish. My mom is a, um, you know, Polish um, uh, Slavic, and my, my father is Polish Tatar. But yes, I'm 100% uh, Polish. Uh, little Carmine, idiot or genius? I think he's more of an idiot. I think the people that think that he was, like, playing everybody, I think they're going too much into the conspiracies personally. They're overanalyzing it. I think he was more of an idiot. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Hope you're doing well, uh, man. Great video on the Saboteur. Looks like a great game. Thank you, uh, man. Thank you, Eric. And thank you. Near, you've been a member for nearly uh, four years, Eric. Thanks, man. Thanks for uh, thanks for being a member for so long. I appreciate it and the support, man. This part kind of sucks. Like, when you're going outside, you're going to get shot. I should have reloaded before I... Oops. Okay. My favorite game in 2012, Sleeping Dogs. I say about GTA 5's physics, they're weird. Uh, yes, I'll do 100% completion. I still gotta do the, um, I still have to do the, the other, um, uh, the stream for the saboteur, but I'll do it. Uh, who's more evil, original Makarov or Dimitri GTA 4? Original Makarov, I mean, Makarov started, you know, world war that, you know, killed, you know, millions of people. Uh... Okay, hold on one second here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna restart my controller here because my right stick for some reason is acting really weird i hope it's not you know i hope it's not controller drift i hope i haven't gotten that Oh, thank you, Nikki. Hey, I'm gonna start my stream too if you just uh, finish your speed run. Um, okay. And when you need help, just let me know. Okay, yeah. I can look around here, but when I aim, it's uh. Hang on, I gotta check my settings for a moment here. Uh. Oh, this, I think. I don't know why that... I don't know why my sensitivity was so down. Okay, that's what was wrong. Wondering why it was acting up. Might be better using Armored Karuma. I don't know. I'm going to try using Vigilante. See how it goes for me. It 
in Ed and Eddie, the most annoying and, uh, and hated characters um, is Ed's sister, Sarah. Yeah, I think Sarah is definitely was the most disliked character. Uh, Johnny was also kind of disliked too, but uh, it was uh, the 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 most hated um, the most hated Ed, Ed and Eddie character of all time is probably Eddie's brother. Even though he made such a limited appearance, uh, he is probably the most hated you know Ed, Ed and Eddie character. Thank you, Agent Reaper, for the super chat. Smash that like button for pro. Thank you, man. Hey, own Titan. Hey, Mustang. I think Lil' Carmine was kind of stupid, you know, he definitely is smart in some aspects, but other things, I guess he, um, talks a bit too much. That's, that's Lil' Carmine's problem. Pro, have you heard about Rockstar banning GTA Online accounts even if you don't do glitches? My friend who grinded GTA since it came out, he had too much money and got banned. And he, he didn't have, like, a modded rank, and he got banned for that? Well, that's, that sucks. That's, that's unfortunate. Do you feel GTA 5 is rushed in development? Maybe a little bit. Vehicle's too big. Yeah, it's constantly stuck on small things. Torador might be good. Torador doesn't work in these heists, though, Fernando. There we go, that's... How big am I? I'm about 160 pounds and uh, about 6 feet. So yeah. I'm not as, uh... I'm not as, you know, skinny as I used to be. That's working out and eating a little bit more has helped with that. Thank you, Jim, for the super chat. Uh... Hi, Pro. I'm glad you're live. I just finished listening to 15 uh, True Scary Stories. Hope your day is great. Ooh. Yeah. Just don't, um, uh, thank you, DHC. Just don't, don't, uh, uh, don't, um, uh, don't, don't watch those videos before you go to bed, though, because that can, uh, <laughs> yeah, that can cause some bad dreams. My favorite game in 2015, uh, I'm trying to think what games came out in 2015. Okay, that one just crashed into me. 
haven't played in years. The DLC worth going back to. Hey, um, Vipox, um, when, what is the, the last year that you played, if you mind me asking? Uh, and you don't have to super chat me again, I'll look for your, um, for your comment. Uh, but, if you, if you haven't played in, like, um, you know, a year or two, you haven't really missed that much, I would say. But if you've played, you know, longer than, like, five years, you've missed out at least on Cayo Perico, which is, and the contract, which are, you know, real, pretty big DLCs. Probably June or July 2020. Oh, so you missed out on Cayo Perico. Cayo Perico was like a new heist location that came out. Cayo Perico would definitely be worth playing. It's an, it, an island that you explore and you go to. You rob a drug lord. That came out December 2020. And then you also missed out on the contract, which came out December 2021. Which was, you know, DLC with Franklin in it. Add the vehicle to get the key right. Okay. Hey, bro, do you think Tony Cipriani is way worse than Claude? I think Tony is worse than Claude. Tony ended up. It's kind of weird because. Uh, and thank you, Ian. Tony has killed more people than Claude, but Claude is more heartless, if that makes sense. I mean, the single events that Tony has done has caused more people to die, but ultimately, you know, Claude is just, I would say, way more heartless, but Tony's probably number two on that. Thank you, Ian, for the super chat. So it explains the physics less authentic than GTA 4. I think GTA 4 did have the best physics, yeah. Yeah, this is my Gus Fring cosplay for this, too. Who's gonna win, Aiden Pierce or the Punisher Frank? Honestly, I'll say Aiden Pierce would probably win that fight. Aiden Pierce would probably have access to more technology and more resources than the Punisher even would. Thank you, Agent Reaper. Yeah, I did play Mega Man Legends a long time ago, Austin. You saw that playthrough? I, I love Mega Man Legends. It's a great playthrough. pretty much be it. They both definitely have serious attitudes, I agree with you on that. It's unfortunate that Rockstar didn't at make the trains drivable. That's what one thing they could have done with this DLC. Out of all John's allies in Red Dead Redemption 1, who's the biggest scumbag? Nigel West Dickens, Seth, Irish, Abraham Reyes, or McDougal? Oh, easy, Abraham Reyes. Abraham Reyes is the uh, worst one, you know, a pretends to be a man of the people, but is, you know, a scammer, and in reality, you know, just power-hungry, a dictator. Ends up taking over the country, killing a ton of people. Yeah, Reyes, I would say, is the worst one.
I don't know why I have this bag on me sometimes. Like, when I finish the mission, I have, like, a duffel bag on me. It's kind of weird. Okay. Progress update. Save the bags and outfit. Ah, I don't really care for much stuff like that, dude. Hey, Melon. What's the stupidest and most outlandish Grand Theft Auto theory? Uh, Michael is Claude. Probably the stupidest one I've heard. People actually think that Michael is Claude. Favorite rated E games? Yeah, I'd say Mega Man Legends. Oh uh, no, just Apollo's outfit, Felix. Who's the most evil savior besides Simon from The Walking Dead? Probably Arat. The stupidest theory is CJ is Franklin's dad. I've heard that one before, but honestly, I think the Michael is Claude theory is even stupider. Star Wars Battlefront cosplay is amazing. Hope to see you play Halo. Thank you, Arise. And um, you're going to see my Imperial Officer cosplay. Well, I kind of saw it, showed it for one, you know, video of me ranting. But you guys will see the Imperial Officer cosplay for the next part. Yeah, Watch Mojo is the ones who were promoting that, that dumb theory. This should be really easy. Just take the Marabonte Grande stuff. Oh, some gear has been destroyed. Oh, no. Oh, crap. I'm in trouble here now. I didn't... If I, if I restart the mission, does that, does that reset the timer or not? Ah, uh, damn. I messed that up. Oh, crap. That's not good right now. How do you balance a social life doing YouTube? Oh, um, uh, I mean, I mean, it, it sometimes it can be a bit hard. Um, quitting the mission does restart the timer. Yeah, it does. Okay. Uh, you're gonna destroy the gear in the trucks. Um, uh, restart the, the the timer will restart. Okay. Yeah, that, that, um, 
that that just I, I messed that up is that I, I blew up the, the vehicles by, by mistake there. That really sucked. Can you give an example of Brian from Family Guy being a scumbag? Oh, easy. Um, like, uh, like uh, when he scammed Quagmire in that in that condo. I've seen scary stories on YouTube. All the ones involving the paranormal are creepy. The ones involving real people are the scariest. Oh yeah, because the the paranormal stuff you could you could always make the argument whether that stuff was actually real or not. But the stories about like real people that's uh, uh, uh that you know you know that actually happened. Okay, so restarting the mission does restart the timer. Okay, well, yeah. Wait, what What didn't I finish answering? Why do you think Rockstar hasn't made a, a, a GTA 4 remaster for PS4, uh, PS4 yet? Ah, they probably don't care. Um... Yeah, they, they, they haven't done anything for GTA 4 in, like, years. Like, so many anniversaries of GTA 4 have happened, they haven't even done anything for it. They say GTA 6 is going to be 228 gigabytes. It's probably going to be, yeah, possibly even more than that. Do I think Todd in Breaking Bad is a psychopath? Yes, because he has, like, no em emotion, no empathy for others. To say, you know, probably the cold, coldest individual. I mean, even even that guy Lalo has more emotion than Todd does. Your inspiration, pro. Thank you, uh, man. out really quick and yeah for this one maybe I should have brought in the Karuma because it's like you can I can't stand it when you're in like a situation like this and you got like guys that aren't popping out and then the other guys popping out and shooting you Okay Perfect there Not all of the missions. I mean, I'd say Vigilante would be useful for most of them because it has the boost as long as you know you're a good driver. Shout out to you for doing it in free aim. Thank you, man. I do like I like to do everything in free aim personally. Don't like auto aim.
Yeah, I agree. The auto aim makes things just too easy. another one done and the getaway vehicle is gonna be the easiest one if they make new ace attorney would prefer modern or another time period to the chronicles i wouldn't mind if they go back to the chronicles i'd like them to go back to rei and asuke i'd like you know that character to be brought back personally and also isn't isn't that apollo's only game was apollo justice like i know he comes back in the other games but i don't think he's playable is he i think it's a uh, you just play as Phoenix, I think, for the other games now. now is Don Salieri, um, uh, is a scumbag? Yes. The only difference between Don Salieri and Don Morello is that Don Salieri tries to act like an honorable person, but he's a piece of crap. He's just as bad as he's just as bad as Don Morello, honestly. I sent you a five dollar super chat. Oh, I'm sorry, Eric. Uh, I, I, uh, my opinion: all mafias are sociopaths. Uh, thank you, Agent Reaper. Well, pretty much most people in that, you know, in any mafia are gonna be sociopaths uh, because they take they they're what they do for a living is taking advantage of others. Uh, and uh, thanks to your business money, guys, I've gotten over a hundred million. Thank you, Eric, and I'm glad my money guys have helped you out. Thank you, guys. Hey, Pro, I just finished the Saboteur video. Uh, very happy to see it's now on Steam and for cheap, uh, too, even when it's not on sale. Awesome video and game. Thanks, man. So, yeah, so, um, uh, this is, like, the Saboteur, this is, this game was originally made by the same developer that, um, that made Star Wars Battlefront 2, but the Saboteur being released on Steam, finally, it's, there's no glitches with it. Very little to, to nothing. It works pretty well. What game is the next Lord GTA 4? Is GTA 4 Online no longer available? No, it is available on PC. I think you need to install like a mod and on console it's available. Have you watched um, TV show A Thousand Ways to Die? No, I have an Agent Reaper. Thank you, Bunny, Eric, and, uh, and Agent and Axel Fuzz. Thanks, guys. Raid Vigilante at a 10, 7, because even though it has speed and really good missiles, just its size just makes it so easy to hook onto things. Started playing Mafia Definitive Edition, um, been enjoying it. That mission with the safe cracker that was speaking Italian is funny. Yeah, and I know I when I was, thank you Lexi, when I was doing that, that, that video, that playthrough, I remember I had a bunch of people in the comments actually translated what he was saying.
Would I personally keep a few grand in the bank um, or, or in cash at your house? Uh, I would probably keep it in the bank. Thank you, Zach, for the um, super chat. But I mean, if you can, do both. Um, if you can, if you can have, if you have, you can have some cash at home. Um, it's not, it's not always a bad, bad thing because it's like you sometimes you need cash on hand. You know, do certain things. But it's uh, uh but you never really want to have that much money at home in cash because even if you have like a safe, you know, things happen, people can break in. Um, at least it's always in the bank. It's it's gonna be there to be safe, and your money is FDIC insured up to two hundred fifty thousand dollars. So if you can, you know, it's better to actually have the money in like the bank. Maybe have like a um, you know high yield savings account. Uh, that way, you know, you're making a percentage back at least. At least the money's doing something. But just sitting in your house, it's not really doing anything. most disappointed in GTA Online that Dr. Friedlander got to escape. Oh, yeah, that's kind of sucked about it, too. I know pe people were pissed off about that, unhappy with it. Well, silver is silver is different, though, because silver is, uh, you know, silver and gold, things like that will go up in value. So, like, you know, holding on to something like that, that's valuable. But I'm saying just keeping, you know, lots of cash at home, it's not necessarily the best thing. It's probably better to put it into, like, a, a savings account. Thoughts on gold as an investment? Um, Unless you want to go after another option, message me to confirm that's the vehicle you want to use. I I don't think I um. Car secured. Well done. Keep your head down on your way out. I'll give you a call soon. I I thoughts on gold as an investment. I don't um. I, I don't think that uh, I don't think I would really ever buy gold. I don't think I would do stuff like that. I think I would just save money personally. It's just not something for me. Like I'm not like I know there's people that like buy a lot of gold and just sit on it. It's just not something for me personally. Uh, thank you, Blinded Eagle. The most disappointing in GTA Online, yeah, the, that drug war story was really disappointing. No, I haven't done a Sleeping Dogs or Manhunt lore video. I've never heard of Ace Attorney, but gave it a chance. I'm actually playing the Great Ace Attorney Chronicles while watching you play it, too. It's a great game. Yeah, it's a it's a lot of fun. It's very enjoyable. The thing about the Great um about uh, the great Ace Attorney Chronicles, I love the jury system that they added in that game. The jury system was a, a pretty big improvement. Uh, what do I think of Islam? Uh... I don't really, I don't really have a, um, you know, I don't really have a negative or a positive view of, you know, most religions. I mean, I'm an agnostic, so I just, I just don't really take aside any religions. You know, I respect all religions. Now, I would say a, a, a good chunk of my family is Muslim from my father's side, but my mother's side is, um, is mostly Catholic. So that's, uh, so you know, I've had a bunch of, a few different religions in my family. Favorite crime game, Saints Row 2. Nice answer, Pearl. Thank you. Uh... Uh, yes, Drifter Kids. Sometime this year, Kier, I don't want to give a specific time date because I'm just working on so many projects right now. But I will. Um, I'm 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 trying to get that one uh, that one done. But I'm gonna have my GTA 4 video next. Pro, would you consider Poland to be the most trampled on country in the world? Um, no, I don't know. Um, uh. 
I I don't um I don't know. I'd have to, I'd have to think about that one. But no, I'm I'm sure there's countries that have been even more invaded than Poland. But Poland is probably the most invaded country in Europe. But it's uh but there are other countries that have been invaded more than Poland. Okay, if I remember correctly, um... I don't even need to hack these vans. Not here? Okay. The other place where it could be is over, gonna be over there. Uh, how do I know when I'm at the right location? Is it just gonna pop up on my map? Because I know it spawns in a few places. You don't- I know you don't need to- I know you don't need to hack the vans. So it's, uh, I know there- that was one of the warehouses, I know that. Isn't like the other one over here, I think. Oh, I think it's to be in the alley, right? What is a jumping noodles turbo lore video? <laughs> thank you, man. Oh, thank you for the super chat. Um, I know the the other the other warehouse I know it was right here like around here right Yeah I I might have to look up these locations for these garages Most southern garage door on the main street I passed it okay Okay, it's gotta be the third one then. I I don't know where the third one is. I because I visited two of them before. Ugh. Ooh, okay, hang on. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to try this one again. Why is the Ufe? Why do you think the Ufe for Max Payne Three is um uh no I'm uh it resets the timer when you um when you uh when you switch sessions I know that but it was uh thank you Lexi and even though obviously fictional world would I say Red Redemption Two is one of the most historically accurate games in your eyes considering when it takes place and the plot um. yeah I would say um. I would, I would, I would say it is, it is pretty historically accurate. The, the food, you know, the, 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 even the money in the game is pretty historically accurate. Like the, the, the inflation, the value of the money is worth a lot more back then. The weapons for the most part are pretty historically accurate as well. Thank you, Blinded Eagle. Uh, east side, um, location number one, east side of the aqueduct from Mission Row, north side of the same street as ammunition and gas station. Um, okay. You know, I'm, I'm just gonna look this one up really quick here. Um, 
disorganized uh, crime in GTA garage locations. So let me just see if there, if there's like a little map here that shows the um. One moment here. Uh, yeah, I don't. Trying to see if there's like a map right now that shows the locations on them. Oh, I found it on the GTA Wiki. Maybe the GTA Wiki says it. Hmm. Just one moment here, guys. Yeah, so it looks like I passed that garage before, but where was the the third garage? Um, the the third garage. Uh, I think it'll be easier to hack the trucks. Not necessarily when you when you when you memorize the locations, because I memorized two of the three locations, but the third one I never gotten that one before. Where would the third one be? Does career progress count as time spent between missions? No, it doesn't. Uh, I'm honestly surprised that nobody has uploaded like a map or something of this because I just googled it like you know the map for the the garages that are there and like I don't even see any video on it. Uh, there's not even like any map or anything like that. I'm so generally surprised on why. Um, next Ace Attorney part um, later or tomorrow. I will um, uh, I will have it up tomorrow. Okay. Is treason one of the worst crimes? It is, because, you know, you're betraying your country. Oh, Gilly did one? I might check out um, his video later then. Time to hit up the Clucking Bell outlet on Innocence Boulevard. I'll brief you on the way. What's up? What are your go-to meals to cook? Um, the thing that I, uh, let me... Go right here, hang on. Uh, Yeah, I've um I've done this heist a bunch of times. The only thing I haven't um memorized about this heist is all the locations, the garages. Nothing. Okay.
One by Lester's Warehouse. Okay. I think I got I passed the one near Lester's Warehouse just now, right? Okay, and where is the where is the last one? The last one. There's because there, you guys told me there's three, and I memorized those two, but I had never encountered the third one. Where is the third one? Uh, the, the third garage. Does anybody know where that one spawns? Hey, bro. When GTA Six comes out, um, uh, which character from GTA Four would like to see make an appearance? Um, Roman, um, Jerry Kapowitz, near the arcade. Uh. Lester's office by the gas station. Oh, I think I know. Here, there. I actually have a bookmark around there, too. Uh. You're a professional, you tell me, huh? Oh. How do I know I have the right location? Uh... Which garage is it? Left of the gun store. Uh. Lester's warehouse by the gas station and ammunition, but. Oh, the other, uh, the other Lester warehouse. That was not this one. Okay, wait. I, I know which, I know which one you're talking about now, guys. I'll play Mercenaries 2, yeah. The other Lester warehouse, because I was thinking of the one. The, you guys said Lester's warehouse in the gas station. I was thinking of that one, because uh, that's the one from the contact missions. The warehouse of the OG heist, yeah. Okay, there's the ammunition. Which building is it here? Uh, opposite the ammunition. I know I'm I'm right next to it, but. Is this it? No, it's not. Uh... This is the only location I haven't memorized, is this one here. Garage door on the right side by the bottom, closer to the highway. This one here? Oh, I think I found it. Okay, I got it now. Okay, okay, guys. Well, I have all the locations memorized now. Okay, keep things quiet and this will be easy. Means the 
Okay, so yeah, so that was the only thing I needed to know, is that one. I'm gonna be able to speedrun this no problem now. I just, um, that was the only location I'll be, I didn't know that one. I knew the other garage locations, I just didn't know that one. Uh, okay, let me try this again. This just resets the timer, and I'm gonna rush through this right now. So you don't even have a little notification or anything, you have to just run up to the door itself. I mean, what stupidity, dude? I was trying my best. It was like, I just didn't know that location. Uh, you know, I'm not perfect. Uh, but I'm, uh... Now that I know the all three garage locations, I have them in the back of my head. I can run this no, quick, no problem quickly. Hi, Apple, dude. Who's scarier, Dmitry Raskolov or Kristoff Gavin? Dmitry Raskolov. Okay, now I'll be able to speed run this, no problem. It's kind of funny, you guys told me Lester's warehouse in the gas station, and I went to Lester's warehouse for the contact mission, and there's actually a gas station there. Um, okay. I didn't know treason was as severe as murder and um, an R word that rhymes with rape. Uh, some people will sell up their country to benefit themselves. Honestly, um, here, here, tre treason, treason is generally like a um, you know horrible thing. Um, uh, the the only time that I'll say treason is um, uh, treason is a good thing. The only time is if the person is basically betraying like an evil government. If it's like an evil government that is like, you know, hurting his people and he does something, you know, that the government would consider treasonous, it's not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, but when we're like, um, when we think of treason, we generally think of somebody selling out their country for money. That's typically uh, treason. Okay. Thank you, Old Titan, for the super chat. Okay. Question: Can you stealth this operation? If so, we can hit the factory without them suspecting a thing. Just disable the vehicles, find the key card, and wipe the CCTV when you're done. On the other hand, you can go in guns blazing. You'll be blowing your cover for the final raid. But if that's how you want to do it. Oh, damn, is this guy gonna... Okay, there we go. Oh, wait, what's Ryan? You, are you trying to ask me a question, Ryan? Okay. There, we got it. Okay, perfect. All right. With the key card, the factory's going to be easy to infiltrate. Ah, 
You are a sharpshooter. Thank you. I've always been pretty good at stealth games. Okay. Take care of this now. Stealth is satisfying. Oh yeah, definitely. But stealth is really, I would say, makes you rage if you're playing a game that has terrible stealth. Like, GTA actually has pretty bad stealth. Uh, okay. If anyone's been to Taco Bell lately, what are you guys' thoughts on a more simple color scheme with the paper bags? As an employee, I hate it. Oh. I've been eating at Taco Bell in some time. I didn't even know that they changed the bags. What did they do specifically to a dope line eagle? I feel so bad for Clavier having a psychopath of a brother, but it, Clavier is generally a good person at heart because he's able to stand up to his brother too. Now we're going to rush through the finale here, see if we can get this done. Uh, no stopping us now. Uh, no, but I mean with the paper bags, dessert bags for the uh, Chris Pandas and the, uh, the Cinnabons, cr crunch wrap and quesadilla wrappers, even the DLT holsters are basic. I missed the color they all had. They're just one color. Hmm. So they're, um, and usually when a company does something like that, they're being cheap on the bags. Uh, what are my go-to meals to cook? Um, quesadillas, um, tomato soup, uh, chicken cutlets. What's my tomato soup recipe? Um, uh, tomato basil, um, Spanish rice, um, uh, I would say uh, 
or me Mex uh, Mexican rice, I think, I'm sorry. And, um, uh, what else do I put in there? Um, uh, chopped zucchini. And I'm not that good at, at it. I'm still getting better at cooking soup, but... Do I have high expectations for GTA, um, uh, GTA 6? Yeah, I hope, I hope they do a good job with it. But I think, I think it'll be good. Cooking of Patrick videos, no. Oh, if, if, if I was cooking people, if I did a video of me cooking, people would probably make fun of me. Uh, uh, Gordon Ramsay would probably be screaming at me. I'm not that good. Um, speaking of fast food, have I seen a lot of self-order kiosks and restaurants? Not really. Not a lot. Thank you, Michael, and, uh, uh, or th thank you, Blinded, and thank you, Bunny. Okay, I'll see you, Ryan. Take care. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You've got to be seriously kidding me. Um uh, this but this is this is exactly what I was talking about, guys, when I say that the the stealth in in, in GTA 5 sucks because it's like when you knock them to the ground, like even as they're dying, like they're just on the floor, if you don't get a headshot, it's just it just detects you. That's just what I hate personally about like the stealth in GTA. It's like if you don't get a, a headshot, it's automatic detection. Oh, man, that sucked. Sorry about that, everyone. One day, I, I would love to do a playthrough of Scarface, The World is Yours again. Yeah, stealth in GTA is terrible. But it, it's not it's not just about the human interaction, Bunny. It, the, the reason that I, I hate self-checkouts is because it, at a self-checkout machine, if you make a uh, if you make a mistake on a self-checkout machine, you don't scan the right item and you bag it, that counts as theft and you can be arrested for that. So that's what I've always hated about self-checkouts personally. And also there's a, uh, uh, the self-checkout machines that I've used, there's a bug on them where, uh, if I if I'm buying like four of the exact same item, like the exact if I'm buying multiple of the same item, like if I if I'm buying like four cans of soup, right, and it's the exact same type of soup, I can just take one can of soup and just scan it four times, and then put the other three in the bag. It's the exact same thing. But what the self checkout expects you to do is they expect you to scan each one um, individually. When you know, no, you could just scan the same one four times, the exact same thing. You're still paying the same amount. It's not stealing or anything. But if you scan the same item four times and you're getting, you know four items, but you scan one item and you put the other three in the bag, even after you scan the three items, um, and you, you know, you scan the item multiple times, it's gonna say, like, you know, put in bag without scanning or something like that. The machine's gonna free freeze, and, uh, and, you know, the store associate comes on over, and that's, that's what I've hated about those things, too.
Oh, I missed a super chat. I'm sorry. Uh. Oh, Elian. Uh, which restaurant would you prefer for a chicken sandwich? Uh. Generally, generally, wherever I eat a chicken sandwich is uh is the best one. Uh, chicken sandwich is generally, you know, pretty much all restaurants are typically good. Um. I would say, um, uh, the best burgers, um, uh, at, like, a fast food place would probably be Burger King. Yeah, I would, I would say that Burger King probably has the best burgers, uh, but, um, McDonald's, I would say, probably has the best fish, sa fish sandwich. Thank you, man. Okay. The key card you acquired should grant you okay, I'm gonna rush through this now really quick here. Factory, if you go to Taco Bell, definitely try the new Cantina Chicken Crispy Taco app exclusively until 321 and Chicken Crispanda with nacho cheese or creamy jalapeno sauce. Tell you what, um, uh, uh, Blinded Eagle, I'll definitely, um, I'll, I'll have Taco Bell probably tomorrow. Tomorrow I was planning on ordering some food anyway, so I'll have Taco Bell. I haven't had Taco Bell in a long time. I'll try those. And I'll let you know next stream what I think. Thank you for the super chat, man. Why doesn't the Ancelotti family go after Mike, uh, Michael since he killed the maid man? Because they don't. Because they were trying to kill Rocco. Because Rocco failed. Because he he messed up the whole thing with, with Bulgarin. Like they blamed the Ancelotti's blamed him for a lot of that stuff. What game do you think has the best stealth? Uh, you like Five Guys? I haven't eaten at Five Guys in a very long time. Uh, the best stealth in a game. Recently, the best stealth I've played is probably Ghost of Tsushima. Ghost of Tsushima has really good stealth in it. Would North Korean defectors be considered good traitors? Well, like I said earlier, um, you know, a North Co what a North Korean defector does is technically considered treason, but no, it's 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 considered the right thing. Tre treason treason is only treason is a bad thing if you're betraying like a a country, an honorable country, like a country that hasn't done anything bad. That's when like treason is a um. Can you reduce the slow mode? It's a bit too long. Um, uh, the thing about that art is um, even even slow mode right now. I think is at twenty five seconds exactly. That's what I think it's at right now. And with twenty five seconds, sometimes it's even harder for me to read all the comments. So if I re reduce slow mode, it's going to be even uh, harder for me to read all the comments too. Oh, I think I missed one of the cocaines earlier too. Um, Man, it's just not my day with this. Yeah, I think I think I missed one. I did in the other room. I'm I'm an idiot. I think I missed it. Damn, I was stupid. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mess up. I'm not gonna hit the 45 minutes. Um, yeah, I missed one. Ah, damn. You like recess? The chocolate? Sure. Okay, I'm gonna rush the rest of this here. We're gonna need to find the safe codes. They should be on a computer in the office. If you wanna stay under the radar, I suggest you find the key. Although blasting the lock and forcing your way in is a viable option, it could trigger the alarms. 
me till this guy here turns. No, I never had white. I never had White Castle. Uh, I've had it before. Um, um, people brought it over fifty five seventy one ten, but I never ordered it myself. Okay, getting out of here now. Yeah, Detroit Become Human, I could do that game one day. Do you think Nico deserved the happier ending? Well, it's his punishment for getting involved in a life of crime in a way when you think about it too. Very few people get to walk away from like a life of crime and have like a happy ending. Nico suffered the war he did, but it doesn't give him an excuse for the other things that he did. There's a history teacher who's read that as a teaching guide. He went viral as a teacher. He did. Oh. What does he use to teach? Geography specifically for it? Or like the Wild West? You 100% be able to speedrun pro. Do better next time. Yeah, next time I'll try better. Um, with the Cantina Chicken Taco, it has a new type of chicken and has a hard shell taco that will grill new shell um, if it's cracked um, that's normal okay what do I think of of different looks of restaurants now we what do you mean zombie can you explain your question a little bit more you know the super chat I'll look for it again a little bit more but what do you mean what I don't know. I think it's actually quicker to actually speedrun it stealth. Because then you don't, don't deal all the extra enemies. There's less enemies if you do it quietly. Do you think that Jamie is possibly Arthur and Mary's son? Jamie? Who, who's Jamie? Wait, you mean that crazy guy that, um... That goes to the cult? Is that what you're talking about? I think that now you should be able to spawn the vehicle here, right? Yeah. What? 
Where's the vehicle? Oh. This vehicle is too sensitive too. Yeah, the one that goes to the cult, no, I don't think he's Arthur's son. Ahead of you, Vincent. Lost them much earlier. That's definitely a uh, Easter egg to San Andreas, the two number nines. Uh, it looks like an interesting game. I always like those games where you have like choice bases and can choose what to say and shape the story. I'll definitely play Detroit Become Human one day. Yeah. Yo. Phil definitely left town. Uh, oh, look at that. Look at that, guys. I completed it. Complete the Cluck and Bell farm rate in less than 45 minutes as a leader. I just... I got it. Complete the Cluck and Bell raid in less than 45 minutes as leader. I got it. I did finish it in less than 45 minutes. I did. And for people wondering how I managed to complete it in 45 minutes, it was because I re kept restarting the missions. So when something went wrong, I kept restarting, but I did it. Got it in less than 45 minutes. Am I working on any lore videos? Yes, I'm working on a GTA 4 lore video right now. Yay, yeah, we did it. Nice. Do a zombie game walk for me doing Dead Rising. Um, that we'll be doing sometime at the end of March or early April we'll be doing. Do you remember that break and I told you about the guy who was saying I am fantasizing it uh, due to my disabilities? Uh, what, the guy, the guy who broke into your house you're telling me? That one, I remember, I remember when you told me that story. The other tier four objectives, let me see, what are they again? Earn five million, that's easy. Complete the scene of the crime using all the setup equipment, oh, that's easy too, yeah. Okay. Ooh. Okay, let me, um, you look like Gus. Well, that, that's actually what I was going for. Okay, guys, I'm going to start a friend session now. 
Uh, anybody who needs help s selling, you know, join my session. I'll help you sell a few things. How's my day, professional? It's good. How are you, man? I'm considering getting the Outlast Trials. Pro, you said you thought the worst thing that the Empire did was Geonosis. I would debate that uh, and say the Siege of Mandalore was worse. They nuked the place and killed 90% of the Mandalorians. But Mr. Blue Wolf, there still was some Mandalorians left. They were still able to some rebuild something. There was no Geonosians left. There was only one Geonosian left and... And the, um, uh, the one Geonosian who was left was protecting an egg, and that egg was a queen Geonosian, and then she was, um, uh, uh, she couldn't have kids, which meant that it was the end of the Geonosians. So what the Empire did to the Geonosians is the worst thing I think they, that the Empire did in the Star Wars universe. Oh, go online? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm appearing offline. I, I apologize. Um... Uh, no, Golden. I'll take a look at it a little bit later. Were the Geonosians evil, or did they really want independence? I don't think the Geonosians were evil. Um, uh, you know, maybe they weren't good, but I would say to say that they were evil, nah. I, I mean, the, the Geonosians just basically wanted independence and freedom for their planet. Um, it was that the, uh... The, you, you have to look at it from the Geonosian perspective, is you had a bunch of intruders who came on their planet... They were basically interfering in their affairs, and then you basically had, like, a Republic invasion, you know, come in. The Geonosians are really defending themselves, when you think about it. So. For y'all who like college football, if you want to make your words um, clear, do not pre-order the, the, uh, this game. EA does, don't deserve our, our money. Um, my advice, wait until reviews come out, and if you still want, go ahead. I think the last sports game I, I've ever purchased... What's up? Fight Night, uh, Fight Night Champion. That was in 2011. Uh, okay, let's help you sell your business then. Uh, I used to eat a lot of fast food. Now I don't eat a lot of fast food. I haven't had a Papa John's in a very long time. If the Scarface theme was the theme song for any GTA game, which do you think you would go for? I Vice City or Vice City Stories? Um, whichever one you want to do first. Melon. Hey, Super Mario Edgar. How are you, man? <laughs> Do you know how to get the Bruno James white and black suit and sleeping dogs? I, I don't know what that is, but uh, I don't know. I don't know how to get that. It, 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 what is that? An outfit and sleeping dogs? I'm not sure then. Which was worse? Uh, Richie at Priel or Ralph? Ralph, I would say, is probably worse. FF means fast food, and I meant change of appearance in fast food restaurants. What do I think of it? McDonald's, BK, and Taco Bell restaurants all feel boring now compared to 30 years ago. Logos look different now. Yeah, but I think I think the thing that has killed fast food the most is the prices. I mean, like, if you look at the prices of just fast food in general, it's gone up. And, like, the whole point of fast food was that fast food was really cheap food that you could eat. 
But like now it's like you know you're you know paying over ten dollars for like a Big Mac, uh, you know stuff like that uh, is you know it's gonna turn people off from going to those places. I want to do some cell missions in my bunker. I can't. I tried my best to get the, one of the trucks, but my RNG is terrible. Well, bunker missions are just random. It will just randomly spawn. Uh, $18 for a Big Mac and a CT rest stop. Yeah. That, that's way too much. I could buy food that I could cook at home, and that would be several meals for, for $18. He did, Phoenix. Well, I sped run it in less than 45 minutes there, um... So I completed it under that. How do you prevent inflation? Honestly, I'll tell you the, uh... Oh. Wow, that's a little far. Uh, the be the the best way to prevent inflation is to stop spending so much money, but unfortunately, the government doesn't know how to stop spending so much money. Eighteen dollars is enough to buy three pounds of ground beef. Yep, that is true. Oh, and uh, who was um? In the comment, is Richie still here? Was it Richie, I think? Richie was telling me a story before. Um, oh, Robbie. Um, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Robbie, if I, uh, I, uh, I misread your name. Uh, but, uh, you still here? A full bur bur burger meal of McFlurry in the UK costs like nine pounds. Ooh. Do I still work out? I've been slacking. I should start working out more. The prices are racing all over the world. But here, here's the thing that people don't tell you. Um, when, when, when you point, when you point to inflation, right? Is um, there's a lot of people that say like, oh, you know, inflation is a worldwide thing. It's happening all over the world. But what a lot of people don't understand is that the American economy has a huge impact on the rest of the world. So when the American economy is doing really well, typically the rest of the world does really well. When the American economy is doing crap, you know, typically a lot of the other countries, their economies are going to go down a bit too. So that's so America's economy has a huge role on the rest of the world. Minimum wage in Indiana is seven twenty-five dollars an hour. Makes me angry. That's seven dollars and twenty-five cents an hour. That is that is not something that you can uh, that that you can survive on like that a wage like that. Yeah, that is. Uh, I can't. I I honestly, I'm honestly surprised that any company these days is gonna try to charge like you know try to pay their employees a wage like that, like seven twenty-five an hour, like. I'm honestly surprised that companies would even, uh, would even suggest paying somebody that. Even if somebody works like six days a week for seven twenty-five an hour, probably not gonna have enough to cover rent even. Can you get banned doing the Cluck and Bell replay glitch? I didn't even know that there was a Cluck and Bell replay glitch, but if there is, I wouldn't recommend doing it.
what is your username so I can send you a friend request? Is it just a professional? Tell me what your PSN is and I can add you later tonight or tomorrow. I just can't, um, I can't add, any, add any, anyone during streams. Jedi Master Ram Koda was the best Jedi in Force Unleashed. He fought his, his own men and not the clones as if he knew what was going to happen. Yeah, I guess that was a, um, uh, I, I think he didn't trust the clones, but we know in canon now that, that it was because of the, the inhibitor chips that the clones did that. Okay, I shared my stream. Check it out if you like. Okay. Um, Nikki. And Nikki, do you want to join me, by the way? And, uh, uh, you, you wanted help with something, right? You wanted to play together? You wanted help with a business? Thank you, Dan. Um, uh, thank you, Dan. Redeem. Uh, uh, redeem. Redeem. Dot. What was the one thing Disney did better than Legends? Uh, I would say the the inhibitor chip. I think that's probably a bit better. I think. I think. I think having the the doing the story with the inhibitor chips, I think that's personally better than the uh, than the story with like the clones like knowing Order sixty six beforehand. Because the thing about that is, if if the clones were trained for something like Order sixty six, the Jedi would have probably eventually figured it out. But it's like the fact that they had like those chips in that like because it didn't make sense to me how like. Uh, how, like, you had that, you re remember that one scene in, like, episode 3 when, like, you know, Commander Cody is, like, you know, talking to Obi-Wan and then gives him his lightsaber, he's like, sir, this belongs to you, and then gets the order, and then all of a sudden he's, like, just blast him, like, out of nowhere, like, it, that didn't really make that much sense to me, it didn't really seem like Cody was that bad of a guy, uh, so, like, them doing the storyline with the chips, I think that that personally was a bit better than, like, the clones, like, knowing an order, um, uh, from training. Did Ian respond, by the way? Thoughts on Bail Organa? Oh, he was a pretty honorable guy. The thing, the, the thing that surprised me about Bail Organa is that Bail Organa was from Alderaan. The reason that that surprised me is because a lot of the people, a lot of the leaders from Alderaan were like massive scumbags and really corrupt. Uh, so like Alderaan had like a lot of really corrupt leaders in like Star Wars history and like some really bad leaders. I'll help you with your um with your next sale here. Well, the fuck my favorite Star Wars Battlefront game is the actually from 2015 from EA and Dice. That's my uh, uh first time ever playing a Star Wars Battlefront game, believe it or not. Oh, I, I believe it. There's a lot of people that started out with the 2015 one. A lot of gamers aren't um uh aren't uh, you know. A lot of gamers actually weren't even born when uh, when the originals came out. Or they were too young to play them. You look like Gus Fring. Well, that was my point. That's what I did with this this uh this uh this costume. Oh, I joined Brandon's MC. I didn't even realize it. I thought I was, I thought I thought it was like Melons invited me to a business. 
There's why does it say there's nine people here, but I only see us in this MC and now I'm confused. Assassin's Creed 4? You mean Black Flag? I could do those games one day. I'd like to do Assassin's Creed 3 as well. Yeah, Assassin's Creed 3, when it starts, is pretty slow. I agree with you that. Like, most people just wanted to become an assassin right away. It does take a little bit of time to build up, but it is overall a great game, too. Do I still have the PS4 version of what? GTA 5? Yes. My favorite clones are the No Class Arc Troopers in the Republic Commando novel series by Karen uh, Travis. That series uh, first showed me that the clones were actual men. And clone troopers were always way better than stormtroopers, even. But Palpatine, Palpatine knew that that somebody could make a clone army against him as well. Nikki, are you still here, by the way? Okay. What did you need help with, by the way, Nikki? Thank you for the super chat. And, uh, yo, are you on, um, uh, Xbox or P PlayStation? Also, what do you think about an update where they use the current AI tech to make AI teammates for missions using many people like single player, but built for online? I wouldn't mind driving around with AI teammates. But I, I can imagine it would be a bit annoying because imagine if you had, like, AI teammates on, like, the machine gun, for example, for, like, an insurgent. Because the enemies, when they get on those guns, have, like, auto-aim. And so you could just drive up with that NPC and, like, you know, put them as hostile to everybody and they could just mow everybody down that they come in contact with. Thank you, sir. Um, Surrogate101 for the super chat. Wait, what do you mean, Happy Solid Snake? I don't know what kind of question that is, Dr. Fauci. Uh, thank you for the super chat. Oh, great. Fell off here again.
Here we go. No problem, Brandon. Melon, do you still need help selling anything? Why can't I find Thompson ammo in Sniper Elite v V2? Because I guess it's probably... It's, it's, it wouldn't make sense to find Thompson ammo. Because Thompson is an American submachine gun, and it's like this Germany versus the Soviet Union in Sniper Elite V2, so... It wouldn't make much sense to find Thompson ammo in that environment. Nicky made a super chat. I saw it. Um, he said he was um, helping somebody's robbery mission. I read it. Um, thank you, Nikki. What percent is this YouTube take from super chats? I think it's. I think YouTube takes thirty percent, so I think seventy percent goes to the um, uh, to the, the streamer. Okay, then we'll just do your heist another time then, Melon. Funker invite. Here we go. Oh, uh, you made a super chat? I'm sorry if I didn't see it, uh. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't see it, uh. Sorry. Hey, pro, I tried a stacker with the chicken instead of beef from Taco Bell, plus a double ba uh, berry freeze to drink. I had all the stuff uh, I told you about. It's great. Okay, I'll try them. I'll, I'll try one of those, and I'll all let right. you know what I think next stream. The Cluck and Bell jumpsuit, do you unlock that as a new outfit, Peter? I played Dead Rising 3, yes. Wait, 15% what? Um, a blinded eagle? Coming up soon, the professional food reviews. Haha. <laughs> I take it this isn't a social call. So you don't want to get in serious trouble, huh? Okay, leave it with me. Can I get what, Peter? Oh, the Cluck and Bell jumpsuit. Oh. Is it like an actual outfit? Does anybody know in the comments that you can unlock? Pros review, bro, Fury. No, that guy's my cousin. No, I'm just joking. But a lot of people say that I'm, I'm similar to him and have a similar personality. Always love that joke. Thank you, man. What do you think of Gordon Ramsay's antics in Kitchen Nightmares? Gordon Ramsay is strict, but he has a good heart, and he ultimately wants everybody to succeed and be a good cook. But most people who watch Gordon Ramsay actually don't watch him for the cooking. They watch him for the drama and the cursing. That's what most people actually watch him for.
like a drill instructor, but for food. Yep, I do agree. Like, yes, chef. Kind of like the military, but for food. Sammy and Amy are coming back to the U.S. Wait, what? Are they going to open another restaurant? Professional, do I play video games? Oh, I'm playing a video game right now. Apparently, the show makes Gordon act more aggressive to make it uh, more to watch. I believe it. Uh, because, have you ever watched British Gordon Ramsay? Like, the, I know Br Gordon Ramsay's British, but the British version of Gordon Ramsay is a lot less cursing. Is a lot, there's like no dramatic music, but like the American version is just dramatic music and constant drama and constant cursing. Sammy got deported, I think. Uh, I think he did get deported. But somebody's saying he's coming back to the US now. Sorry, my PC games. I play PC games too. I played Manhunt 2 on the PC, but I don't play that many games on the PC. I played the Saboteur also. I recently made a video on that. Oh. oh. What's Sammy? Oh, Amy and Sammy from Amy's Baking Company. They were like a crazy couple that like cursed out their um their their staff and their customers. They would just treat them like crap. Dead Rising 3 was a great game. Dead Rising 4 is unfortunately the series that kind of ruined the, the game, this, the series. Hmm. And I guess we will be probably wrapping up the stream here on like a few minutes, guys. I'll answer a few questions. I, um... I know I didn't do a heist today at the end, but I did that 45-minute that challenge, which I'm going for. I promise the next stream will be much longer. Um, I just I just had a bunch of stuff earlier earlier today to do, and I just haven't had dinner yet, so I'm just kind of hungry. Uh, who's deported and who's trying to come back? The U.S. Sammy from, from Amy's Baking Company. He was like a really crazy guy. You know, Sammy actually, you know what Sammy got deported for? He got deported for the fact that he was, um, uh, he threatened a customer in a kitchen, in the, in the parking lot with a kitchen knife. You look it up, there's a video on YouTube of it. Sammy, you know, threatens customer in ki kitchen knife in parking lot. What will be some of Gordon Ramsay's best moments, like, say, the best people he has met and worked, uh, for? Um... There was an American restaurant that he went to in, in in Britain, and that American restaurant, he actually liked the food there. That was actually a really good episode. Uh, he was impressed by the chef and liked the food, and the, and the it was not an expensive restaurant at all, but he liked it a lot. Are you still getting the glasses for your Gus outfit? Yes, it's coming in tomorrow. Well, I only worked at one retail place, but it was uh, it was enough to drive you insane. It is kind of weird how Cluck and Bell, the, the new DLC is under the contact mission tab. It, it's really sad what's going on in Haiti right now. My account will be restored on the Wednesday. Oh yeah, and if you care, I can actually help you to speak Ar uh, Arabic if, uh, if you're interested. I'm always open to learning uh, other languages, but right now at the moment is I'm st still studying Spanish and I... Uh, want to focus on that, and then I eventually could could learn another language. But thank you for the offer, man. Uh, Pro, enjoy your sheep tacos dinner. Gordon Ramsay approves. Thank you, Fernando. Do I, do I think Sony will release Days Gone 2? I think it's up to the fans. I think if enough fans push Sony to, I think they will release it. 
but you have to think about it is that they haven't even started making a Days Gone 2. Days Gone 2 would have actually come out last year if the developer was allowed to make it, but Sony canceled the Days Gone's project. They didn't think that the previous Days Gone sold enough, but I think it did. Oh, Last of Us Part 3 will definitely come out. Uh, the American restaurant Ramsey liked was Mama Sherry's Soul Food Shack. Oh, that was the place. Yes, I remember she had all the American flags, and she was in um, uh, uh, she was in uh, in Britain with that restaurant. Which one, Amy's Baking Company, Aaron? That's the one you didn't like. Alan Wake, I'll definitely do that as a playthrough because I've seen so many comments of people requesting that I play Alan Wake, so I'll definitely do Alan Wake as a playthrough. I, I'll, I'll be honest with you, being a package handler is one of the worst jobs I ever had. Uh, I agree I agree with you there. I've never worked in that industry, but I had a friend who would deliver packages for Amazon, and he had like a specific phone, and he told me how the supervisor for Amazon would constantly keep texting him. They'd be like, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? They kept rushing him, pushing him. And he just felt so overwhelmed by it. He couldn't take it anymore. There's probably going to be a GTA 6 trailer in spring. That's what I think. I think there's going to be something in spring, if not spring, early summer. There's going to be another trailer. And we might actually finally get a release date too. But I expect a game to probably get delayed. It's probably not going to come out when they want it to come out. You think about the amount of times Red Dead Redemption got delayed, it got delayed, like, I think Red Dead Redemption 1 got delayed, like, three or four times, so it got delayed a bunch of t times. So GTA 6 is probably going to get delayed. Please read my comment. Hey, Phoenix. Let me look. I see your comment. Uh, thank you, Fernando. Uh... I don't see your comment scrolling all the way back up. Can you post your comment again, Phoenix? I'm doing good, satisfied with my life. I'm happy for you, bunny. Wait, what do you mean, Gaiman? Inc? I'm not sure what you're talking about, Zach. What do I think of what happened to Drake Bell? Oh, I don't want to get into that. It's just disgusting. It's just horrible. Wait, are you entering the stream right now? I I kind of am, Nikki. Um, I'm just I'm just a bit I'm a bit exhausted and I'm just I'm just really tired. But um, uh, I I haven't eaten dinner yet. But if, uh, but I can, uh, what I can do is, uh, I can help you with your heist, you know, tomorrow, or off stream if you need that, or, um, or, you know, we could, pl we could, you know, pl play together earlier on the next stream, I could, you could be the first person I can help you, if that's okay, I'm just really hungry though, man, so that's just, if that's okay, um, Your Aiden Pierce cosplay is the best cosplay so far. Thank you, man. That is my favorite cosplay, too. Eat more protein, pro meat and dairy. Yep. Oh, I don't have a heist. Oh, okay. Well, Nikki, is it okay if I, I help you then, you know, uh, tomorrow? Um, or I can help you on, um, uh, uh, or I can help you on the next stream? I haven't had KFC in years. Yeah, a long time. Uh, wow, D say, did you see, uh, My Life as a Teenage Robot? Oh, t My Life as a Teenage Robot, um, that I did watch, um, uh, uh, I just didn't, when you were abbreviating it, I just didn't know what you meant by that, My Life as a Teenage Robot. Yes, I, I watched that one, Jenny was her name, I think, uh, the, the robot girl, I remember, I remember that too. Okay, Nikki. Do you see my message? Uh, 
What message point in Eagle? Let me look. I'm scrolling up. I don't see any um any other here. Any any other comment. Can you post it again? Professional watch those wrist rockets, huh? <laughs> You know, I I should watch those glitches. It's it's like the clones say, watch those wrist rockers. The the clones say say watch those glitches because of how they messed up Battlefront too. Yes, both of those games, Outlast Trials and Detroit, uh, Destroy, uh, uh, or Outlast Trials and Detroit Become Human. Those are games I eventually want to play. Detroit Become Human, I'll definitely do. Oh, you mean your messages on P on PSN? Okay, I'll take a look at them. Hmm. My favorite South Park character, probably Kenny. No, I haven't watched Oppenheimer. I don't remember those characters, though. I just remember Jenny, Zach. Yep, uh, Viking. Okay, so I guess I'll I'll wrap up the stream here, guys. Thank you for hanging out with me. I'm sorry for the stream being a little shorter than usual. I'm just hungry. I haven't eaten dinner. Next next week, we'll do the stream a bit longer. So thank you guys for hanging out with me. Um, uh, you guys are awesome. And uh, I will see you guys on the next one. Have a wonderful day, guys.